Hi, it's Denise. Welcome to my home. I need to move this because there's somebody here that wants to say hi. He says hi. <laughs> he just never fails, you know. He says, I'm here. Just love me. Love me. How can you not? And then there's Lacey, and she says, you know what? I'm here, too. Yes. And she's going to lay on everything. Don't lay on everything, please. How are you today? Oh, it's been a busy day. It is quarter to one. Oh, I just got back from Habitat not too long ago. Habitat. Habitat, Habitat, Habitat. I love Habitat. I found quite a bit of stuff today. Yes, I know. You just want to lick all my makeup off. You want to kiss, 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 kiss. Because that's just who you are. There was a lady in the store that had a support animal. And he was a chihuahua. And this is a chihuini. And their faces were really similar. I had to laugh. I said, did you have to, does he have to behave in a certain way to be a support animal? And she said, no. And I said, well, then... My hunter would be a good support animal. He behaves the way he wants to behave. <laughs> she gets to take her dog everywhere. Yes, I see you. I do. Do you want up here too? You want up here to say hi? Come on. Here, you get down. Come on. Come here. Oh. Come here, Lacey. I'm not going to ignore you. <laughs> he just won't. Come here. There. And then there's two. Huh. She's a good girl. She's a good girl. Their faces are so similar. And though she's a big dog, she's... Her breed is very similar to his. Oh. Well, I wanted to share with you what I did in Habitat today. I did bad things. I spent a lot of money. I spent $35, which isn't, I mean, isn't a lot of money, but it's more than I generally spend. Um, but I did find some really neat stuff. So, uh, we don't go underneath the tripod like that. Lacey, you'll tip it over. I have one, two, three, four, five animals right here at my feet. Five. And there are more. They're just not in here right now. I turned the camera off because I wanted to avoid a disaster, and the disaster happened right after I turned the camera off. So I'm glad I turned the camera off. Now they're all back. Well, they're not all back. Some of them are back. Um. Anyway, I've had a really eventful morning. Um, Jessie is holding her own. She is not running as high a fever. She's having more specific symptoms now, though. Her tummy hurts a lot. And she's getting grumpy. I would get grumpy, too. It's been a long haul for her. Um, and she had her kitty that was supposed to go in and get neutered today. So I uh, took the kitty and her daughter so she could help me with the kitty. To It's called um, Ambassadors for God's Creatures. It's a... An outfit that does a lot of, of uh, gratis work for animals and it's a low-cost spay-neuter situation so I took him in and I'll be picking him up at 430 today and I came home and I came home and cleaned the refrigerator well first I cleaned the cat boxes and then I cleaned the refrigerator and you know, 
it has been days that I've smelled and my refrigerator wasn't that bad, I didn't think. But I was smelling something in there and I couldn't figure out what it was. Well, Peyton had cooked some fish and the back of my plates are white and the plate had gone behind the shelf and the wall and it was white against there and there was fish on that plate. There were fish on that plate. Well, I found out what the smell was. So we took care of that. Um, my dogs hang out when I clean the refrigerator because I think it's a snack bar. I guess better than the cat box, huh? Because <laughs> I think that's a snack bar too. Yuck, huh? Um, so I got that done. And by the time that was done, it was 9.30 and I needed to... I try to get to Habitat as close to 10 as I can because, of course, my mind tells me all the best bargains are there and everybody's going to get them if I don't get there. That's rummage and sale mentality. Um, so I went to Habitat and got home, well, it was about 12.30, 12, 15. And I hauled everything in, got my lunch, ate, put the dogs out, brought the dogs in, and here I am. And it's 10 minutes to one. So, anyhow, went to Habitat today, and I'll share with you some of the things that I got. Katie has children that are allergic to glass. You know, ah! Come on, you guys. Quit that. Sorry. Um, go lay down. Go lay down. No, you don't go under the tripod. Go lay down. Go on. Go lay down. Good girl. She did what I told her to do. I can't believe it. Now it's just the cats. Anyhow... They're allergic to glass. And when I was checking out, I was telling the young man there, I said, well, my grandkids are allergic to glass. He said, they're allergic to glass? Said, no, 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 they break it. Oh, I thought they were really allergic to it. No. Um, these are Hobby Lobby bowls. They're $4.99 a piece. And they're melamine melamine acrylic and I got all of these bowls four five six seven eight for three dollars three dollars and they're 4.99 each and there were a couple of them that aren't brand new but most of them have the tags still on them. So I'm going to give them to Katie for the kids. I think she'll appreciate them. And if she doesn't like them, I'll keep them because I don't do so hot with glass myself. I like the color too. They're kind of a rusty terracotta, dark terracotta color. They kind of go with everything. That was all that was in that bag. Okay, here we go. There's one, two, three, four, five, six skeins of yarn. You know how much I paid for these? And they're all the same dye lot. And they are 100% pure virgin wool. I paid two dollars for all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. I wonder if they have a price on them. Hundred percent virgin wool. I crochet. Four ply sport yarn. It's a two ounce skein. 
It's hand washable. Tells you what needle to use and everything. And it's called Jamaica Green. And it doesn't have a regular price on it. I don't know if any of the others do. They probably don't. I suppose I could find out, you know, how much it would cost to buy a, a skein of 100% virgin wool. Probably quite a lot. So I'll add this to my to-do list. I'm going to get my crochet hooks out. You know, idle hands. And there are times when I do have idle hands. I sit here. And I watch things that are mindless. And I could be doing crochet and listening to Christian radio, which I do a lot. So. I got these for $2. Not $2 each. $2 for all of them. And I like the color a lot. I think it's really pretty. Alrighty. Let's see what's in this bag. Well, there's one thing here. Oh, it tipped over, of course. I like buckets a lot. And this is a galvanized bucket with a handle. I paid 50 cents for it. So it's going to be a creative thing for me, along with the other buckets that I've gotten. Has another price tag over a price tag. I wonder what it was underneath. Now they had a, a dollar on it. And I said, you're not really going to charge me a dollar for this, right? He said, no. He said, how about 50 cents? So. Let's see what the price tag underneath says. Do you ever do that? It says 50 cents underneath. There were a handful of rubber bands in here, and maybe that's why they made it a dollar. But I got it for 50 cents with a handful of rubber bands in here. The rubber bands are all over the back seat of my car. Okay. I found some picture frames that are absolutely exquisite, and I got them. Well, I'll show you, and you tell me what you think I paid for them. Some of my rubber bands. More of my rubber bands. Now, these all have the glass intact. They may not be all put together the way they're supposed to be, but... Look at that frame. Oh, it's upside down. Isn't that just so pretty? I love it. It's like a reverse guild. It's gold. And then somebody, um, I'm sure somebody did this because I've done it. They um, rubbed it with green. It's so pretty. And there's another one. Same, same. It's a little bit smaller. This is a 5x7, and that, that one was an 8x10. This is a 5x7. You can take a whole bunch of pictures that are different picture frames, and by rubbing them with the same color, they look like they are part of the same set. More rubber bands. Imagine that. I really don't need rubber bands, but I have them. Here's one that has not been rubbed yet. Has the glass.
I'm thinking what I'm going to do with these. Here's another one. I know that I can match that green and do these up as well. And I think what I'm going to do is make a collage of picture frames that you can hang as one thing. And it's going to be absolutely exquisite with the green and the gold. I paid 50 cents a piece for these frames. I feel so blessed, you know, when I can find things like this and I know that I can make something lovely out of them. All these bags are broken. I'm a mess. I'm just looking at my pants right now. And man alive, I went over there with all kinds of junk all over me. I didn't realize I got so dirty cleaning the refrigerator. Okay. Now you know that the clothes, adult clothes are a dollar a piece, right? I found this for Katie. For church. She loves bling. And it's a long shirt. Oh, it's caught on my fingernail. It's very, very nice. The inside of it is lined, so it's... Well, it's not really lined. It's just really soft on the inside. So she's not going to be affected by the pretties. Because sometimes sequins can hurt. All right. Let me get this right here. It has raglan sleeves. I think they're a very, very, very flattering sleeve. And it's an um, asymmetrical hem on the blouse that goes down a little bit more on one side than the other. I think she'll love this. It's Anne and Rose. Made in China. <laughs> Imagine that. Isn't that pretty? She'll look so pretty in that. This is for me, I think. It's a petite um, medium. And it's velvet, stretchy velvet. Wow. Isn't that just so cute? It's got the flannel type print and it's velvet. I can wear this with leggings, long sleeve, has white buttons. I don't think the buttons really match, but you know me and buttons. I can always change the buttons and I do have buttons. And it doesn't stretch that way, but, well, why am I telling you that it was stretchy? I thought it was. It doesn't matter, though, because it'll fit. Isn't that pretty? For a dollar. I found quite a few clothes. Now, this is for Peyton. She will deck herself in a bra and pants and go outside. And I think, come on, don't do that. And then I saw this and I thought, you know, this will be something she can put on that I won't feel so bad about it if she goes outside in it. It's a, a little sports bra and it's cute. It's got lots of detail on it. It's more like a swimming suit top. And that was a dollar. And she likes the form cups. And they look nice on her. I got this for me. It's like a paisley. 
and they're really wide leg pants. And these are a petite. They're um, a small petite. They're Chelsea Theodore. I've never heard of these brands. But you know what? It still has the string for the tag on it. I love them. And they're silky soft. Why do I see pins in here? Oh, you know what? Someone was hemming these and stopped. We'll see if the other side is pinned also. They're a petite, so they should be short. Yeah, they're, it's all pinned. So it won't be a big deal to fix them. They're already pinned up and everything. I wonder why they got rid of them. They're brand new. And they have a functional... Is that a functional tie? It is. It's functional. It isn't just decoration. So if you need to cinch the waist, it's got the little ties here too. And they've got tassels. Look at that. There's tassels at the end. What's the fabric content? I'm just curious. We know how to do that, don't we? There's got to be a tag in here somewhere. It's very, very soft material. I'm turning things inside out to see if I can find a care tag. But here it is. This has never even been washed. It's 100% polyester. Machine wash cold with light colors, gentle cycle, only non chlorine bleach when needed, tumble dry low. Cool iron if needed. It won't be needed. This material is going to be really easy care. But man alive, this stuff is like satin or silk. It feels like silk. And they're beautiful pants. I'll have a lot of fun with these. A dollar. Now, I saw they have brand new sweatshirts in there, brand new, um, and they're charging $2 for those. And I'm glad they are because brand new, they're just out of the bag. You can see the fold lines and everything on them. Here's a little journal. It says faith, strength. Courage, hope, and then each page says faith, strength, courage, fight, and hope. I'm not sure who I'm going to give this to. Women's, women owned, made in the USA, Crown Jewels 2022, Ashland, Ohio. And it's brand new. I don't know what I paid for it. There's no tag on it. He probably charged me a quarter, 50 cents for it. Oh, it's a breast cancer awareness tag on the back. So I think that they are 
coupling with breast cancer awareness. I got this for Maddie for her bedroom. She loves purple. I paid 50 cents for it. And it can hang up. I think she'll enjoy it. If she doesn't, Josie will. If I know Maddie, though, she'll like it no matter what. Because if she doesn't, she'll know that Josie gets it. I'm going to put some bling bling on it. There are little hearts here, and I can put sparkles on the hearts. I think she'll enjoy it. Now, yesterday I got spackle from Dollar Tree, and I was able to find um, tape, seam tape. I paid $1.50 for this. I mean, it's a lot. There's a lot on here. So it won't be just for the holes on my walls. These are things to put away, and I'm sure that there will be a time when I need it. This is the kind of tape that has a crease down the middle, so you can use it for corners, too. It's been a long time since I saw hole protectors. Do you remember these? I remember doing like essays at school when you had to write and you needed to put um, hole protectors on your papers. <laughs> Are these just the, oh, there's some. They're on the other side. I was going to say, I thought what I was looking at was, um, see, this is what they look like. Do you remember these? It protects the holes on the uh, binder paper so they don't rip. And you just don't see this kind of stuff anymore because everything is submitted on computer. I took Katie's youngest with me when we took the kitty this morning and she filled out the paperwork and it was like a foreign land to her. She said she couldn't remember what it was that she wrote last. It's just a foreign land for me. She said that she wished it had been on the computer. I can understand why she would think that way. There are probably a hundred of these, and there were 200 to begin with. Okay, I got some of this stuff. And it's real oddball stuff. I think it'll be fun to use. Is this called eyelash ribbon or eyelash? Let's see. It's originally originally four forty nine. It was on sale for a dollar ninety seven, and I got it for fifty cents. Bernat. It's a brand new skein. And it's almost two ounces. So there's a lot of stuff here. I'm going to have fun figuring out what to do with this. I know I'll figure out something. But I think it's called eyelash yarn or eyelash ribbon. You could almost cut these off and put them on your eyeballs and use them for eyelashes. It's been a while since they've had any new craft stuff in there. 
And there was some today, so I feel very blessed. I had a month or so ago gone in, and there were two of these. They're Brain Quest. And I bought one. I bought it and thought that was all there was to it. Well, this was the second part of it. And I thought, oh gosh, I should have gotten both of them. Now I have them both. And they're fifth grade Brain Quest. I got it for 50 cents. 1,500 questions and answers. Challenge yourself. Challenge someone else. Um, some of the questions are, give this singular form of the phrase, our home. Did the Great Depression occur in the 1890s, the 1930s, or the 1960s? What does CD mean to a music lover? Are worker bees male or female? The band has three drums and three flutes. What's the ratio of drums to flutes? What city in Missouri is famous for its gateway arch? How many lines are there in each verse of a limerick? Did Cyrus McCormick invent the reaper or the elevator? Can you answer any of these? What contains the embryo of a flowering plant? Bird is to nest as bee is to what? And there are just tons of these questions. And you know what? Peyton liked the other one. I think that we'll have some fun with these. It'll give us a chance to spend some time together. And I hope that she will. It's fun to just look at them, but, you know. There are lots of different... These are after-school things. During this time, 15 billion million children are home alone without adult supervision. What does it mean to be high and dry? To be left alone and helpless is being left high and dry. So the questions, like this one, is sheet 75. And then right after that are the answers for sheet 75. So the next one was John Kennedy, John F. Kennedy shot by James Earl Ray, Jack Ruby, or Lee Harvey Oswald. And the answer is Lee Harvey Oswald. You know, we know that. I know what I was doing at the time I heard that President Kennedy was shot and killed. Do you? I was in junior high school and we were making biscuits in Home Ec, which they don't have anymore. Um, which sign of the zodiac is represented by the lion? Do you know that one? It's Leo. Do you know what it is? I think it's July. I'm not sure. I'm probably wrong. Name the force that slows down an object or stops its motions. Why does something stop? It's because of friction. Did you know that? Which is greater than 90 degrees, an acute angle or an obtuse angle? 
it's an obtuse angle. What continent lies east of Europe? It's Asia. Give the abbreviation for captain. The abbreviation for captain is C-A-P-T. Was Ruth Bader Ginsburg the first woman to serve on the U.S. Supreme Court? No, she became the second woman to serve on the court. I thought she was the first one, too. Who was the first one? Each kind of atom is an element. Are most elements gases, liquids, or metals? Gases, liquids, or metals? They're metals. I would have thought gases. That was what I would have guessed. Money is in the U.S. is called dollars and cents. What is money in Canada called? It's called dollars and cents there also, but U.S. and Canadian dollars are not the same. So these are really fun questions. It's general knowledge questions. When you're in fifth grade, you should know this. Have you seen Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader on TV? I suppose these are similar questions. And I probably would get them as wrong as I do with the others. But what a fun thing to have and to be able to do with Hayden. Okay, these are... They call it fun fur. And I've seen that people have used these to make... Um, the little boas. It's very, very, well here, this is almost like an eyelash too. And the color is lava. And I think there are three of them. This color is not the same. It's claiming it's lava, but it's a different color dye lot. They are a different dye lot. There are at least two of these. I think there might be another one in there. 50 cents a piece. Well, I got these for Katie too. She's forever looking for silverware. And these are all nice. I got them for a quarter a piece. There's a whole slew of them. I thought, why did my total come out so high? Well, this kind of stuff is why. It's four for a dollar. There's probably five dollars of stuff here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's two. Three. Four seventy five. That's why it grew like this. I have several things that 
or more expensive than I usually get. I think there are two forks in this and then the rest of them are spoons. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't count those. So there were $5. Da, 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 da. I noticed on Timu that they have really great prices on silverware. I think forks and spoons, 12 each, were $7 and something. That's really less than this. Years ago, Katie collected shoes. And I saw this and it reminded me of her. It'll be a little tchotchke thing that she can put on her dresser. 25 cents. It doesn't serve a purpose, not really. But it's something that I want her to have. And you know, it's really detailed. It even has lines in the shoes where the foot would bend the shoe. I don't know if you can see that or not. And then in the front. It's got little pearls on it. And the designs are really pretty. Now, I found jewelry. Now, this is this was 50 cents. And I don't know what I would do to this to change it. But there's a lot of potential there to do something. And I will. It's enameled and it's on a gold tone. And then it's elastic. I paid 50 cents for it. These are absolutely adorable. I have a little bear that I got not too long ago. I don't know if these I mean, oh, they're not even glass, they're plastic. But they're made so well, they look great. I think that they'll be fun to, to put on that bear or a doll. Oh, it's all tangled up. Wasn't supposed to do that. But my goodness, if it's going to, it will, you know. It just does. I need to undo this so that I can get it. If you have jewelry that is tangled up in itself. Best thing to do is unlatch it and you can get it untangled a whole lot easier. Now this one is still tangled. I get off of there. That's another thing I like to do is untangle stuff. It's a good thing because I find myself tackling with tangling stuff all the time. And there are a lot of people that it frustrates them so much that they won't even venture. So it gives me the opportunity to buy things sometimes that someone else won't get simply because it's tangled. 
I'm not saying that's necessarily the case right now with these. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? They're glass beads and they are on metal cord. I want to find out how they do this, how they set these beads. There's some kind of a setting bead or a, a oh gosh, what am I trying to say? That keeps the beads on here and they're not next to each other. So it keeps them stationary and it's not a knot. These little beads right next to each other, right next, I think that they're crimped. They are. I'll have to look at Timu and find these. I, I've been wanting to do stuff like this. I actually thought about doing it, you know, with cords bigger than the wires here. But this is so beautiful. I like it. It has a lobster claw clasp. And then it has an extender on this side. I don't even know that I'll change this. I probably will keep this because I like it so well. And you can wear it with lots of stuff. And I can make earrings to match it. Oh, now see, I tangled this with the glasses. Now this is a little choker and it's made out of like a metallic ribbon. And it has, um, the ribbon is a, like a rickrack. Can you see that? It's got um, oh goodness, peaks and valleys, uh, what am I trying to say? It's like a rickrack. And at the end of each one of the, <clears throat> the thingies here, I can hang a bead. I make this really cute. This also has a lobster claw clasp. And I think essentially I'll leave it the way it is, but I'm going to put beads on it. It'll be pretty. This one's really quite tangled. Well, at least it was. I don't know if it is now. I almost think this is too... It's not. This has a regular clasp on it. I think there are two items here. Or it's the tag that's all tangled up in there. I think maybe it's the tag. Okay, now that's off. I kind of think somebody got frustrated with this and just got rid of it. It's an E, initial E. There are two items here.
Okay, this is one. And this has a floating, a little floating bead. And I think I got charged one price for this because it looked like it was one thing. It has a maker's tag on here and I can't read it. That's what I have magnifying glasses for, Denise. Why didn't you look? Why didn't you look? Okay, now what's this one? This is the initial one. It needs to be cleaned up some. A lot of these things that people clean out of their jewelry boxes, they're not worn. They get dirty because of skin and what have you. But gosh, you can take a, a soft toothbrush and a little bit of toothpaste and make things look like new. This has a knot in it. I will be able to get it out. Oh, this has a letter F. That's a real fine chain. And the clasp on it is just a little tiny clasp. It's a very fine little piece of, of jewelry. I would say that in a way I look at this and think, you know, it's for a child. But with that being said, I don't think it's durable enough for a child. I was thinking of the size. I have to get a little needle and, oh, wait a minute, am I getting it? Oh, I am almost. I know this isn't exactly what you intended to see. So I'll go ahead and get the knot out on my own time, but it's an F like Francis. This is another, it's almost like a floating bead one also. It's not though, I'll show you why. It has a lobster claw clasp. Uh, do, 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 do. And it's a long necklace. Well, no, it's not. It's got here. It goes this way. And what it has is it has little barrel beads, clear barrel beads to separate the, the beads, like the wire. It doesn't have the crimping. The, there's nothing to hold those there except for the beads. These are really nice beads. I think someone made those, I think. Well, ultimately, I'm sure somebody made it, but I'm, what I'm saying is 
I was thinking it might be a DIY type setup. But it's very pretty. Fifty cents. And they're natural stones. I I just think they're gorgeous. And the beads, the barrel beads are glass. Now this is a triangle. And I got it because I think it's really cool. This is a big nail, like a 10 penny nail. And the triangle, I don't know what that's made out of. I'm going to have to look this up and find out what this is about. Why this was made in the first place. If it, it must have some kind of a symbolic. But for 50 cents, I thought, you know what? I'm going to have some fun with that. Am I dropping things? Of course I am. And now they all fell. That's what bowls are for, right? Okay. Here's a little charm bracelet. I know nothing about these charms. I don't know if this is just a well-worn little bracelet or if it's sterling. It has a lobster claw clasp. I'm looking to see if there's anything that says 925. I'm getting that. Whoever fixed this, put the clasp on, put it on wrong, and it's all balled up in there. There. It's got little beads, and then it has a star and little beads and an angel little beads and a heart with a pink stone and I love you or I oh goodness it has an eye and a heart I love GRA And it has a flower with a rhinestone and another heart. It has enamel. I'm going to guess that this is probably silver. It's really a pretty charm bracelet. I'm going to get this cleaned up today and see what it looks like. It reminds me of how silver tarnishes. I have CLR too. I may just go ahead and, and dip it in CLR. Because a toothbrush can be abrasive. I think there's one more thing in here. There's more than one. Okay, now this was $3, but it wasn't. He gave me the whole bag of jewelry for $2. Um, this is like a jade of some kind. I'm pretty certain of that. Uh, 
and that's probably why they had it marked higher. It's just on a string. I'll find out what it is before I sell it because I don't want to sell it saying it's one thing that it's not. But I do believe that's jade. It's a pretty stone. And last but not least are some earrings. And these, I don't know. These kind of look like they may not be anything interesting, but we're going to look. All this jewelry was together and it was behind the counter. It wasn't in the place where jewelry usually is. So I thought when I saw the pile of it, I thought, oh, that must be waiting for me. Come on out of the bag. These are posts. And they're very delicate, very small. They're both the same. I'm going to find out what, what it is first that I've got here before I start doing anything to it. But I can put some rhinestones on it. I think I'll deck them out if it's not a precious metal. I kind of don't think that it is. But I could put like rhinestones in the corner, make them really pretty and unique. Okay, that's the jewelry. We're still going here. Oh, what's in here? Okay, I got two things. These are all, um, napkins and I've seen where you can take these and make them into bags tote bags make them kind of unique little tote bags and that's what my plan is put those corners in those corners out and it kind of makes a, a little bag. And I have things that I can make uh, the straps with. And this is really nice. It's like a broadcloth, a heavy broadcloth. Heavy linen. And I like the colors. This one has more purple in it. There are three, I think, here. And then these are more just burgundy and I'll do something to make them each unique and different there are four of these oh maybe there aren't maybe they're just three but they're the same size they're all a good size I can use two and make one bag they're not hard to make and they're unique I can jewel them, bedazzle them. I think these will be a good thing to have. Because, you know, when everybody buys everything from my booth, they have to have a bag to put it in, right? Oh, here's the 
the other of that yarn but this is look at that color it has purple and pink it's originally $4.99 it's called cotton candy fun fur stripes this will be so fun to play with. My grandson, I have a grandson that's graduating in May. And this doesn't have to be a graduation frame, but that's what it says on it. And I plan to send this to his mom or to him. And I also bought a graduation bear. I remember when Reva came to me. She was alone and she was pregnant. And she's an adoption of the heart. I've been doing foster care for developmentally disabled people in my home. And they asked me if I wanted to take her. She was higher functioning. And they said that she had been raped and was pregnant and was by a non-relative family member. And they were trying to get her to abort and she wouldn't abort. Bless her heart. I'm glad she didn't. And then they were trying to get her to put the baby up for adoption. So I took her and she kept her child and she's been a very, very good mom. And she has some issues, but don't we all? Don't we all? She got married, she had two other children. So she's raised three little ones to adulthood and this is her youngest one to graduate now. Look at all of these staples. It's a whole box of staples. And they're boss stitch. So they should fit my uh, stapler. No trouble. All staples from now until my next life. I don't know that they'll have staplers in heaven, though. And I won't be taking it with me. So, after I'm gone... Whoever gets my stapler will have lots of staples. I paid a dollar for all of these staples. Um, a dollar. Doesn't say how many are in here, but there are thousands of them. These weren't made in China. We're not. Five thousand staples. Okay. I found two blankets for a dollar a piece and they are fleece blankets. They're not new. They're warm and they have fleece on both sides. Berkshire is this one blanket at blanket and home company. Designed in New England. 100% polyester. I'm guessing this is a pretty good sized blanket. Oh, does it have the dimensions? That's the day. It's 2017 to 2019. 
This is not just a throw. This is a full bed blanket. For a dollar. And I think that this is either a queen or a king. Probably a queen. Smells good. Um, and this is the other blanket that I found. And this was also a dollar. Now this one probably isn't as big. We have a lot of homeless people. And I'm kind of collecting blankets and stuff that, I mean, it's not, uh, this, this is a throw. It's still a nice size, though. I'm going to get a box together of blankets, and when the temperature starts going down again, That's where these are going to go. You know, everybody has their story and nobody knows why people are where they are. And that's not the point. I think that it's really important that, that as we are part of the human race, that we have a responsibility. I feel like I have a responsibility anyway to do what I can to help others. And if it's just giving them a blanket, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, Habitat does it too. You know, as a matter of fact, I, I saw that there were a whole bunch of blankets that were going back there and I asked about him, and he said the next time you're in, his mom is the one that does the pricing and all that. He said what they do, they'll go and put stuff out by the homeless areas and just leave it there and let people take them. Um, and that's, I don't know, I think that that's probably what I'll do too. I found several pair of underwear I know some people get freaked out about buying secondhand underwear. I don't. If they're not stained, you know, you put them in the washer and they're just like they would be if you got them anyway. That's my opinion. And these are all tummy tuckers. They're really elastic and they're nice underwear. I couldn't afford to buy these. Um, relative Relativity is the brand They're these And I think the same person donated all of these Because they're round about the same size They're not necessarily the same brand But they're tummy tuckers And I know that when you like that sort of underwear, that that's what you just want to wear. I know they're expensive too. These are a dollar a pair there. But golly, what do you pay for elastic underwear? Four or five dollars a pair? I thought these are really pretty. They're kind of a, a lacy... And they're tummy tuckers. I think these are a little bit bigger. I'm not sure. But man, these are so nice. They have the silicone band at the top so that they don't ride down. I 
and then the purple ones there's another pair of purple and they are the same about the same as the red ones they had the band at the top and they're tummy tuckers so one two three four five pair a dollar a pair okay I'm going to show you this I saw this the last time I was there and I just fell in love with the picture but I didn't buy it I don't know if you can really see it. It's long. It's got a beautiful gold frame. It, it was originally $50 at Hobby Lobby, I think. No, JCPenney. And look at the flowers. Aren't they beautiful? I paid $3 for those. I'm hitting that tripod. I'm worse than the animals. Oh! Okay. Sorry. Too much stuff. Did I say that? I think I did, didn't I? All right. I have a big mixer. You know, um, an old Oster countertop mixer. And it's just so hard for me to handle. I thought, you know, I'm going to get a hand mixer. And this is a nice one. It's, um, where are... Well, they're in here they were on there when I took them off I paid five dollars for this it's like brand new it is a Toastmaster and it has both this and the regular beaters and I'll find those hold on just a second let's see what else I can find here I got this for Peyton. I don't know if she'll like it just the way it is or not. It's a belt. She likes this kind of stuff. It kind of has some detail that is cute. And if she doesn't like it, I'll sell it. I won't wear it. I don't know how you put it on, though. And maybe it's a necklace. But it looks like a, it's a belt. You know, it really does. Here's the little graduation bear. I'm going to send that to him. It's really soft. It has a little diploma and a cap and gown. And he likes this sort of thing. He's gone to Christian school all of his life. And the church that they were going to really paid most of the tuition for her children to go to Christian school. Very, very blessed. Very, very blessed. Okay. I found these flashcards and they're addition and subtraction. They're pretty easy. And Peyton needs a lot of help in this area. 
So I thought, you know, having flashcards would be a real help for her. These are subtraction. And then I, I got addition also. We're going to start working on this stuff. I told her that we were, and she's not real happy about it. But they're not working with her at all at school. And she has specific learning disabilities. And her math skills are like second grade. And I'm not saying that to knock my, my kid. I'm not at all. It's not. She just doesn't do numbers. And she's going to have to do numbers, you know, to be independent. So I think that this will help. And she did learn quite well when I homeschooled her for the few months during COVID. Um, and I think she surprised herself with how she could learn. These are addition, these are subtraction. Here are the beaters for the hand mixer. I'm looking forward to using this. I've had hand mixers before and I bought a hand mixer and gave it away. Um, so this one I'm I think I'm going to keep. Okay, so that's launching them. I'm sure that it works. And if it doesn't, I can always take it back. We're really good about that. I didn't latch this one in properly. I have to learn how to use a hand mixer. Isn't that crazy? I have to put these in and there's a, there it clicked. Here we go. For $5. I got these shoes from Maddie. She loves shiny. I think that she'll really enjoy these shoes. They have the neat little straps on them. They're size three. I hope that they fit her. If not, Josie. And this is, these are playing cards and they're emoji playing cards. And the way that it, you know, it doesn't have the same, it has emojis on there instead of the face card. The face cards look different. The king is, this is what the king looks like. You know, so it has, if you have a six, it has six emojis on it. The king, queen, ace, jack, queen, king, ace are different. Anyhow, I think the kids will have fun with these. We play cards here a lot. We play fish and um, uno. And what else is Jen. The kids enjoy it a lot. Every once in a while, Peyton will participate, but not very often. We've got some more cards, and, and these, I have regular cards, but these are more designed for a child.
I found this candle holder and I think it's so pretty. It's brass or um you know what that's not what this is. This is the top to something. But I can take this thing out and it'll be a candle holder. I thought that was a candle that was in there. It's not. It's a piece of plastic. But the hole is the size of a candle. Oh, I know why I can't get it out. It's screwed in. Um, but I think it's a beautiful candle holder. So that's what it's going to be. It's going to be rebirthed as a candle holder. And someone surrendered this bow. It's a really cute bow. It still needs a little bit of, of sprucing up. But I paid a quarter for that. And it has the wired ribbon. So I'll be able to open it up and make it really pretty. It kind of got mushed in the bag. I like the the plaids. I think plaids is really, really a pretty way to express color. So I have one more thing. And I can't even tell you exactly what this is. I'm going to be using it to display stuff. It's really, really nice. It's like a ladder. It has hearts. It's all wooden. And it sets this way, so... This is at a slant. I think it was a magazine rack is what it is. That's what it's designed for. But gosh, you can show all kinds of stuff on this. I'll be using it to display. Can display earrings, can display um, artwork. I think it'll really be pretty. So I think I, I did really well today. Um, trying to see the time. I guess it doesn't matter. It's time to go. And I appreciate you all so much for being here. Thank you so much. I love you all. And if you enjoyed the content, I want to invite you to subscribe. We do lots of different things here. Um, I think tomorrow we'll probably have a Timu haul. Um, and then Friday we'll do jewelry. I love you. I'd invite you to subscribe, to comment. All of our comments mean so much. We have such a wonderful channel here. You guys are all number one. I'm very proud of you. I love you all. I've said that about a bazillion times and I can say it again and not feel like I'm say, over saying it because I really do. Um, take a look and see the, the comments. See, you know, you're warmly accepted, warmly welcomed here. God bless you all. 
And until next time.